My latest novel is Desperado, and it's got a tag of a mile high noir. It's set here in the north side of Denver, the, my neighborhood, the place where I live, the place where I've spent decades. Nowadays, it's Highlands or Lohi, the gentrification, new people, new populations, new restaurants, new stores, a new style. Meanwhile, the old community is trying to survive the old traditions, the old ways. The main actor in the novel is Gus Carell, born and raised on the north side. Just like his neighborhood, he too is trying to survive. He lives and works in his ex-wife's second-hand store, the kind of shop that no longer fits in with the changes, the kind of shop that once dotted the area. One day, Gus is visited by his old high school running buddy, Artie Baca. Artie has survived. In fact, he's flourished as a real estate developer. He knows how to make money, something Gus never learned. But now Artie needs Gus's help. Artie tells Gus, I can't do this by myself. When Gus hears those words, he knows Artie is in serious trouble. He's never needed Gus's help before. Artie is being blackmailed, forced to pay money to a young extortionist who threatens Artie's comfortable world. Gus knows better, but he can't resist the quick payday promised by Artie. And thus begins Gus's adventure into the dark side of the American dream. Murder, greed, sex, power plays, double and triple crosses, and eventually the cartel theft of the sacred cloak given to San Juan Diego by the Blessed Virgin, Our Lady of Guadalupe, the revered symbol of the Catholic Latino world. All these threaten Gus, his family, and his friends. Let Gus tell you the rest of the story in Desperado, a mile high noir.